So what does it take to make a house Polish? Let's find out. Oh, in this house of doom, no one gets out alive. Oh, once you step inside, no one gets out alive. Hi, I'm your host, Mike Stahl, and today we're going to be looking at just what it takes to make a house Polak. Now, you might be asking yourself, Mike, why are you wearing a turtleneck? Well, I'm the fucking host of an interior design show, and I need to look in touch with my feelings, and a bit effeminate, or else no one will take me serious. But I still need to keep my cool, tough guy look by compensating with boot-cut jeans and work boots. See, these boots have never actually seen a construction site. The dirt you actually see is makeup, but it gives me a TV credibility. Anyway, let's get started. One staple is to make sure that your blues match your browns. The Polacks always make sure that their brown Sunday Oxford shoes perfectly offset their bright blue jeans and red shirts, and the ascetic carries into the house as well. One way to ugly up a room is to add a splash of hideous 70s furniture and a completely out of place tapestry, often contrasting in color. Anachronicity is a plus, with last century's wallpaper and furnishings, nothing says, Yakshimash, get out of my house, better to the in-laws, although they'll probably excuse themselves of eye strain. Duct tape is a quintessential fugly must in a Polak home. You'll find it fashioned out of, and to, just about everything, from holding down your doormats, to encasing your leaky shower and drafty windows. There's no job lazy enough. We actually got a word with this home's designer. This is what he said. Well, Mr. Peg, I think it sucks. I could live in a cardboard box. I don't have to paint it or anything. I think the interior design is a bunch of bullshit. One incredibly unique thing about any Polak home is their almost compulsive habit to pretty much label everything. When in doubt, Sharpie, at least that's the motto around here. Never more will your glazes, your pencils, or your shoe ploish ever be lost. And when half of your garage is kept in your living room, always make sure to keep your plain water outside. Just make sure to always have a cup of suger on hand. So now you know just how bad a Polak can really fuck up a house. Until next time. I'm Mike Skull, and I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs>